Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Making another video. Why? I don't know. I just enjoy making videos and uploading to YouTube, whether they are creative or not or boring. Nobody watches them anyway, but I'm just going to carry on and upload them anyway. So in today's video, it's more of a show and tell, really, something that I have added to my stream for Twitch. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, yeah, if you guys like it, then maybe it's something for you to think about to add into your streams, which I definitely recommend because it really adds something really special to your stream and will also give your viewers more interactivity with your stream. And I think it's just super fun. So what I am talking about is channel points for Twitch. You can now get them to control your OBS scenes and trigger sounds, video, basically any media source within OBS. It can even change scenes. Uh, it's awesome. So this is not a tutorial, but I will leave links in the description that will take you to uh, some other videos that are tutorials that I've used uh, to help you guys achieve this thing. So what I'm just going to do is show you what I've come up with, but I will leave the tutorials in the description so you guys can follow their videos, do it for yourself. It's not actually that hard to do. I managed to do it. It takes a little bit of time, but it will be worth it in the end. So let's get right into it. And do you like my little Halloween decoration? Happy Halloween, by the way. So yeah, let's get into it. So. The website is called Triggerfire. So once you've got it all set up, you've logged in with your Twitch and stuff, um, you connect it to OBS. Um, this also works with stream elements. So I'm not going to get right into it, but what I've just gone with is OBS. So this section here uh, communicates with your OBS software and all you do is just create a browser source and um, if, I can't really show you because I'm actually recording with OBS. But all you do is just create another scene within OBS and uh, download sound effects, uh, your video files, your PNGs, whatever. Import them into OBS as separate files, whatever. It's all uh, demonstrated in the tutorials, as I explained. They'll all be in the links in the description. So this is what I have set up so far. It's just a little bit of fun. Uh, I took a bit of time last night to uh, see what I can do with it, and it's pretty cool. So um, we'll start with this one here. It's called Surprise. So in fact, what I'm actually going to do is head over to my Twitch. I've already set this up so it works with my uh, channel points. So we'll go over to my channel. Since you can't be live to oh. new... By the way, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, go and give me a follow. Again, the link is in the description. Go and give me a follow, see me live, and use these channel points for yourself. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So let's head over to the chat section. You are under a misconception. And we don't want to watch that advert. So over here, we've got my chat points called Beans. So we're just going to go over there. And here are my rewards and challenges. They're just rewards. Um, can you guys see that okay? I'm going to just move myself up here a little bit. So here is what I have so far. We've got noise uh, and a few Among Us animations. We've got surprise, motherfucker, <laughs> which is a good one. We've got my name, Jeff. Uh, all right, so I'm going to play each one, and then it's just going to pop up on the screen. So while I'm streaming, people can redeem these within the stream, and they're going to show up on the screen, which is really awesome. All right, so that's that one. And then we've got this one. Again, just a little bit of fun. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that one. All right, this one. My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. <laughs> Another Among Us. And another one. And another one. And 
And another one. <laughs> Bit of a jump scare there for you. Hopefully that worked. Uh, got another one. freaky right so that's specifically for when i'm playing horror games but i mean you guys can redeem them whenever you want when i'm playing any game but yeah uh there to scare the viewer more than me although the uh the audio still plays through my headphones so i can hear each of these that are being played it'd be pretty boring if i had a muted all right so this one is probably one of the best. It doesn't do much, but I mean, I like it. It's the tactical nuke. Tactical nuke ready for launch. Tactical nuke incoming. All right, what I did there is I actually had the uh, the camera on the top layer of my OBS scene. So when you saw it disappear, that's because I need to put the trigger um, overlay uh, as the top layer. So when that tactical nuke gets played, it just covers the entire screen in black. Um, so that's all I have so far. I mean, they're pretty cool. It's something that I'm working on um, just adds a little flavor to the stream. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think it's pretty fun. Um, but I'd open to any more suggestions, ideas. Um, we do have a Discord. So again, I'll leave a link in the description. Come and join us on Discord. Feel free to chat. Drop in your Twitch or your YouTube channels, whatever. Just general chit-chat. Um, but not trying to get together an awesome community, as as you do, as we all want to do. Place to hang out and stuff. Uh, just before I leave, though, there is one more awesome thing that I have uh, done. So I tend to have a habit where uh, during a stream, say, I don't know, I'll leave it in my camera scene. I'm playing the game. Um, at the minute, I've got the uh, desktop display capture in the top corner. But if I forget and I'm still playing the game and people want to see the full game screen, but I'm completely oblivious because I've got I've disabled preview on OBS, so I'm unaware of that I've not changed my uh, scene back to uh, full gameplay. So what I have done is I have created a command for viewers to type in chat, which will change my OBS scene back to the game screen. And all I have to do is just type in exclamation mark main, and then it switches back to the game screen, which obviously this would be just imagine that this is the game screen now. But it's pretty freaking awesome, and I think it is great. You can actually do anything. You can set up a command so it can literally do anything, like change a scene or trigger a source. Uh, so you don't have to have it connected to your channel point. You can just set up commands for things to trigger within OBS. But there's an endless amount of possibilities you can do with this. And I think it's pretty freaking awesome. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If anybody did watch, please, I hope somebody out there is watching. I am convinced that this channel is dead. I am live streaming to YouTube as well as Twitch. I use Restream, so I'm streaming on both platforms at the same time. But nobody is watching on YouTube. With 1.3k subscribers, I don't know what is happening to my channel. I'm convinced that it's dead. But I'm still here uploading to YouTube. I'm clenching onto that last little bit of hope that I can revive this channel. Maybe I should just start a new one. Or maybe I should just give up. I don't know. But, uh, if somebody is watching, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, subscribe if you want to. 
drop any comments down below and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Once again, all links are in the description. Don't forget to check out that. And uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. If not, I'll see you in my live stream. So yeah, see you later.